Christmas is a week from tomorrow, and that made today one of the busiest shopping days of the year. Lots of shoppers hitting the streets in Union Square on the so-called Super Saturday. It's also an important deadline day for the Postal Service. Our John Ramos takes a look at both sides of the spike in holiday shopping. The last weekend before Christmas has traditionally been a busy time for last-minute gift buyers. But the economy has changed, and it looks like holiday shopping has changed right along with it. Actually, it's probably not fair to call this last-minute buying. With a week before Christmas, the shoppers at Sun Valley Shopping Center in Concord enjoyed a leisurely day of retail exploration. But as he sat outside waiting, Chris A. was counting the minutes. I'm not, I don't want to say I'm an impatient person, but... You know who wants to do with like, But you are outside here waiting for them to finish. We are outside waiting for someone to finish. So <laughs> I bite the bullet. It's uh, before the sun turns dark in about like two hours. So I mean, inside it was business as usual. You've heard of retail therapy, and for Tank Turner of Antioch, it really is. He's battling PTSD from an industrial accident, and feels the social interaction is good for him. It's uh, therapeutic for me to come out amongst people and be out with people. I don't like large crowds. Does it feel good when you're here with all these people? Yeah, it does. It really does. But while it may feel like a lot of people to tank, others have noticed a real difference in the dwindling size of the Christmas crowds. It's been a while since I've been here around Christmas, and I'm finding that it's just much more empty than before. And I was, you know, concerned about how crowded it was going to be. It came up, saw plenty of parking spaces, and thought, oh, I guess, I guess everyone is kind of transitioning to online. The switch from shopping to shipping has created a whole new layer of stress over whether packages will arrive on time. At the post office in Danville, customers lined up to send gifts off to loved ones. Danielle Chang discovered that the deadline for regular delivery had passed, and only the pricier priority mail had guaranteed delivery by Christmas. Well, you know, they're good friends, good family, so if it gets there a day late, I think they'll be okay with that, but, you know, it depends on the cost difference. This is the busiest shipping week for the post office, but Supervisor Avelia Barrigan says it's nothing they can't handle. You have time. Come on. Yes, we're waiting for you. We're waiting for to serve you. <laughs> Remote shopping may be making things easier, but back at the mall, it's putting the squeeze on brick and mortar stores. Patricia Mejia thinks it's also taking something away from the Christmas spirit. Because I feel like. It's not the same. Like you just go on the computer, you click a few buttons, and then you, you you got what you need to get. But it's not. It's not the same experience as going and picking out and choosing what you want for your loved ones. For many, the hustle and bustle of holiday shopping has been replaced by the click of a mouse. It's now possible to get ready for Christmas without ever leaving your house. But where's the fun in that? Well, today is the Postal Service deadline for standard shipping and for first class mail. But if you want to pay a little extra, Priority Mail will get you an extra two days. Those packages need to be postmarked by the 19th, and Priority Express, you will have until December 23rd.